serene. These waters may be unrecognizable without a crowd of people and could easily be mistaken for a hidden stream in the heart of the forest. For the last six weeks, the waters of the much-loved Cora River have flowed uninterrupted. In one fell swoop, COVID-19 brought peace and serenity to this popular liming spot. Now, instead of the blare of music, the only notes heard here are birdsong. The absence of humans has allowed wildlife to return. From the tiniest insects to the liveliest birds, they are here to enjoy the cool waters that are off limits to us for now. But what happens when we return and this tranquility is broken? Will these animals still find solace in nature? Or will human interference wash away their presence? Forester One Kishan Ramcharan says if we continue to make our presence felt at these locations with loud music, these animals will retreat once more. I believe some of the reasons why uh, you would barely, barely see those animals or really see them because of the fact of noise pollution being one of the main factors that would drive these animals away. Let's leave the northern range behind and journey deep south to Clifton Hill Beach in Point Fortin. Here too is free from any signs of human activity. Bordered by swampland, this beach is home to some creepy crawlies who dare to explore when no people are around. And also to this guy. But it's time to leave these calm waters behind and experience the wrath of the Atlantic Ocean. These pounding waves batter the East Coast and the Mayaro Beach. But here, no signs or barriers are necessary to keep sea bathers away. What the government's stay-at-home orders could not achieve in the fishing community of Mayaru, these miles of sargas and seaweed has done instead. Blanketing the shoreline and bringing even the fishing trade to a halt, this sargasm seems to be Mother Nature's way of enforcing COVID-19 restrictions. Unlike our other nature spots, these were the most active creatures in Mayaru. Their less aggressive relatives kept their distance, foraging for food among the seaweed. At the mouth of the Ottawa River, only this guy was present to take in the stunning view. And while we all long for the day when we can roam the country freely again, Forester One Kishan Ramcharan is appealing to the public to change their behaviors to preserve the few positives COVID-19 has brought. I think that um, people on the whole, the public, should be a little bit more mindful um, of the impact that we make on the environment. And this is actually um, giving us a clear opportunity to you know, look back and observe what happened on each and what, what could be better um, for all of us, even though our animals are benefiting from it, our, our future generation should be able to witness the same things. On Monday, we bring you the second installment of this piece and show nature's restoration along the northwestern coastline. Charlene Rampasad, CNC3 News.